What is for us is spirituality, not religion. And that's why the Yeshua that existed as a man like you and me who ascended never practiced any religion. But they lie to you and tell you Christianity is a way of his life, so let's start living it. You know, when we talk about the difference between religion and spirituality, we say religion encourages the uh, discovery of oneself. All right? Religion encourages you discovering yourself, ascending, making the effort about yourself, look into yourself, watch yourself, develop yourself, commune with the Creator. Because you and the Creator are one. There is no God outside of you. This is what uh, 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 spirituality encourages you to do. So you discover yourself and attain your, your purposes of being created by the Creator that you are one with. But on the other side, religion wants you to believe that you have to practice something external that is connected to an external being or founded by an external being before you can be validated. And that is wrong. He or she who practiced that was for his or her own uh, ascension and discovery of his or her purpose of being alive. He or she have, 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 have you know, discovered he, him or herself. It's not left for you. Now, if you are practicing what some other person did, how will you discover yourself or who you are? Because we are never the same. And our encounters are not the same. So when you are forced to practice the life of some other person, you, 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 you are living in the shadows. You will never ascend. You will never discover your real purpose spiritually in this life. And that is why Abraham never created any religion. He didn't ask anybody to say, okay, it's a religion, no, start doing it all. He didn't. It was a way of life for him and a way of communicating with his creator. But people began to use this way of life of some important people to manipulate other people, to inhibit the growth of other people, to blind other people into discovering themselves. So that at the process where you are blind, you don't know what you, you possess as a person, they are stealing from that which you have. And so those who organize this thing become the gods that you worship. Yeah, I know you all know I worship God. This one, no, can you copy me? They become the god that you worship. Because they organize these things and have a book. And how did they put those books together? They still go back to the source. They go back to Kemet. They go back to ancient Nubia. They go back to our ancestors' way of life and pick up things. Because that is it. They pick up things and they added their own beliefs. Make it look like they are the ones that are the gods. They pass your energy into it. You make them stronger. So, I want us to listen to this. Um, discussion between young Pharaoh and um, it's quite unfortunate how life is so let's listen to him I love the power in him I love the energy in him uh, let's listen to him and we'll be right back worship the sun right and I touched on this but I want to say this again religion is the spiritual system for non-black people because they cannot naturally exist under the sun so when y'all come amongst us as missionaries or y'all came amongst us as missionaries, we were holistic people. We were living off the earth. We was eating off the earth and we were meditating under that sun. And that is something that y'all are genetically and biologically unable to do for whatever reasons. That's, that's fine. But what's happening, y'all are demonizing our natural spiritual practices and downplaying it as sun worship because it's something that y'all cannot do. So y'all want us to find our higher selves in that book when we supposed to be finding our higher selves in that stock. And that is why, you know, Egyptologists deem Akhenaten the weakest pharaoh because they want us to believe that returning to the sun is a bad thing. Even though the Torah, which is the sun, the Helios, Biblios, Holy Bible, Sun Book, the Quran, Sun Book, the, the, the Quran got a chapter in it called the Surah Baraj, which, which means Constellations Astrology. All of y'all books are literature, liter, excuse me, 
is, is literature. No, excuse me. All of y'all books in monotheism is nothing more than occultic literature, which worships the sun because y'all can't actually do it. And y'all want us to think that it's bad for us if we actually do it. So I want to be clear on that when we're speaking on Akhenaten, because I understand exactly why I put the term Aten on the back of my name. Aten is the highest level of consciousness before you go into death or darkness, which is Amen. And so continuing on, right? Stolen stories from Egypt. Okay. I want to, I want to break this down because if, if anybody subscribes to any religion, I don't care what religion is. I have to show you that the stories was literally stole right off the wall. Now, here, here's my first, here's my first example, right? Let's talk about part in the Red Sea. Okay. Because people, we want to know where that came from. And we already know every, at a certain time of year, every year, the soil is so rich in Egypt that it makes the water of the Nile turn red. So that's where the ideology of red water or blood or, or you know, that, that allegory came from. But if you look right here in the tomb of, of, Ram, of Ramesses, you can see Akhenaten and Nefertiti having a battle out at sea. And you see that the water is parting. So go look this up. And so what y'all did is y'all walked inside our shit and you took the images off the wall and you turned the images into religious stories that never happened. And while doing that, you want us to subscribe to them stories, but you don't want us to know what the fuck is on these walls. So I want to be clear on that. Now, uh, another example that I want to use, okay, as far as, as far as, uh, whatchamacallit, stolen history. The Bible says, God made Adam from clay. I mean, yeah, God made Adam from the dirt. But our ancestors told us that we was made in the likeness of the universe and that Kanum, the creator God, fashioned man on a clay wheel. So here's another story that y'all stole out of Egypt and put it in the Bible. And as you can see, this is Heru, and they tried to scratch him off, but he still got a little bit of black with him. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because when you spoke about Akhenaten, you talked about how the Pharaoh who came behind him tried to basically sketch out his history. And what I want non-black people to do is to acknowledge their lies. What y'all did was y'all went, and I'm talking about Arab, I'm talking about everybody, Chinese, everybody. You went into Egypt and you destroyed our shit and then you blamed it on us. When Napoleon alone, I'm going to use Napoleon because he's recent. When Napoleon alone went into Egypt, he burned a half a million scrolls. So it's shit that our ancestors wrote on paper before the Greeks even knew what paper was. Moses went to the top of the mountain to get stones. We was already writing on paper and using stones to build pyramids. So that was primitive to us. If, if that really happened in our eyes, that's some caveman primitive shit because we was already writing on paper. So I want to be clear on that. Y'all went into Egypt and destroyed our shit. And then you wrote history up in a way that would make us believe that we destroyed our own shit. So I want to be clear on that. White people, excuse me, Caucasoids and Arabs, who are also phenotypically considered Caucasoids, are trying to literally erase us from history. And then you are rewriting the history as if we're doing it. And if anybody want to research that, Look up Egypt mania. Egypt mania is a 3000 year old psychological uh, obsession of non-black people going into Egypt and not only doing what I stated, doing even weirder shit like burning the mummies and eating the mummies. So let's talk about that. How a lot of Egyptologists who are Jews are going into tombs and literally eating my motherfucking ancestors. Literally going into tombs and snatching the jury off the dead bodies of my motherfucking ancestors. So when we talk about who's destroying black history, it's y'all. And then you blaming us for this shit. And then not only are you blaming us for the shit you doing to us, you want us to subscribe to some shit that even in this live stream, you still have not proven. And I'm still waiting for you to prove where you came from outside of that book and outside of the evolution theory. Once again, prove where you come from 
using actual anthropology and science. And I'm going to end right there. This is my last uh, rebut because I know we were supposed to go an hour and a half. We went over. So I'm going to end right here. Out of everything that you may say to rebut me right now, I ask that at the end of that rebuttal, you prove where you came from without using the Bible and without using the evolution theory. That is what I ask. Do not use a theory and do not use a book that you wrote to benefit you. Because if, if we if, if a bomb go off right now and every book is destroyed and we have to re-educate ourselves scientifically, guess what we will discover? Black people was everywhere. Egyptians were black, Omex were black, Mayans were black, Incas were black, Naga, Naga Kushites in Japan were black. The museums will confirm all of this shit is black. What we will not see or be able to prove is that the original inhabitants of Israel was you. So if we take away the evolution theory, if we take away the Bible, prove where y'all come from because y'all have not done that. And my, my research leads me to believe that you were genetically engineered by extraterrestrials to conquer this planet. That is what my research has, has led me to and I have confirmation on that. But if people don't believe in extraterrestrials, that's fine. All I'm asking non-black people to do and what I'm asking you to do right now before we end this live stream is prove where you come from without the use of religion and without the use of a theory that was created by a racist who was also connected to the Jews. Darwin. So with that being said, you got it. And I'm done. <laughs> Your Majesty, that was a tough one. I'm going to try to get the reply of the other guy, the Jewish guy. So we have a discussion on him as well. Now, he, he, he said a lot of things. And this guy, you know, this is what they always do. When they see that a young man has this fire, they start targeting him. And this, that was exactly, that was exactly what they did to this guy. Now, demonizing our spiritual practices and almost not almost you know when i say this here and some people don't want it because of course they told you everything about africans is demonic so when i tell you everything in the bible was stolen from africa's theory african stories african uh, folklore stories everything that happened while our ancestors were still in existence and they left on stones and on papyrus and scrolls that was where the bibles and other holy books you think about came from because when you look at them and study them thoroughly you discover that it's pointing you back to something back to the source where they came from and it was a good question that he asked aside from the bible and the evolution theory where do you think you're from this is a question that we have to ask ourselves ask yourself this question even as a melanated person ask yourself so that it will give you the urge to start doing some histories about yourself so that you know yourself because when you don't know yourself that is the greatest thing the greatest the greatest um, evil that could happen to anyone when you don't know yourself the stolen legacy of our ancestors i said it here that yeshua existed but moses never did exist the Moses story is the Pharaoh Akhenaten story. And that is it. You saw the evidence that he brought. You can still do your research about that. I knew this before. And that's why I came here and I told you. Yeshua existed, but not as the Bible told you. He existed as a human, like you and me, who ascended. And that is why what we all have to work on. We work on our ascension as, as a human being. We reach to that stage where will be one with source again. He became one with source. He became one with the creator. And he did a lot of things that history recorded. He was like you, a melanated person. But he didn't exist as, as the, the Europeans want you to believe. But for Moses, Yes, there was a Mo there was someone, but he wasn't. He didn't go by the name Mo Moses, and they never knew him. It was the, st the story of Pharaoh Akhenaten that was taken, copied, plagiarized, manipulated. I tell you, the Bible was created, edited, and manipulated against some people, against the owner of the story, the real story, the real people, the real owners of the story. 
It's not hate. It's history. So the further you go, you got to see these things. Like I say, we will start a series real soon. I'm working towards it. And it's going to be something that I will say again. If you are not, if you're not mature spiritually, you, you can just decide not to partake. You can even unsubscribe and just go away. Because whatever I do here, I don't do it for, for fame. I don't do it for uh, glory. I don't do it to attract subscribers so that I can have 1 million subscribers. Like I know. The little number I have that are genuine, that are sincere, and are eager to know where we lost from, where we fell from, how can we recover our glory again. These are the people I want to work with. And that's why everything I want to be uploading here up from now are things that will be very, very spiritual. If you do not want to open your third eye, you will never understand. If you do not want to grow in grow spiritually, you will never understand. In short, if you are still a baby spiritually, it's not going to be for you because it's going to affect you. And I wouldn't want something that will be like, I am trying to drag you from something to another thing. And it's going to be a point where we have to be open mind. Let our hearts will be open and the Creator speak to us and we make decisions of what we are of who we are and rediscovering ourselves as the melanated people. I'm going to see you in my next one. Mind you, there are many people who started journeys like this of exposing to us who we are as spiritual people, as black people that were targeted by, by organized governments, organized religion that were targeted. Some that were framed. They used their close friends, they used their children even to frame them. So as I can get hold of them and then tell the world that what they are saying is a lie. But the creator knows best of how to bring out the truth to us. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others. Stay safe, stay positive, always your majesty. Bye for now.